Matthew's coming with Gun Rogue Games slash Rogue Deck Builder here with the last Zach the Crack Addict, our booster box opening. Zach's not even doing it with me. He's too busy to do it today. We are slammed with other stuff. So I've been promising this for a long time. Uh, we haven't done one of these in a long time, too. I did make a post about it, but I think it got buried uh, with some other posts with uh, kind of where we've gone with this Patreon. So when we first started, this was like the big benefit was cracking a pack every month and sending it to patrons. And then as we grow or grew uh, with patrons, it became more and more difficult to keep up with the process. And it's at the point where it just takes too many hours of shipping cards, you know, all the labels that are created with it, all the stamping, all that kind of stuff going through the names. It just became too much of a fiasco with over um, 180 patrons. So what we're going to do for this last one is going to open up these Modern Horizons Collector Boosters, give everyone a random card from it. I still think this is better than going the regular booster pack because you have a chance of actually getting a, a more valuable card than going the draft boosters of how, and we've been doing this patron forever that Collector's Boosters didn't even exist when we were doing these, these box openings. And so anyway, this is my official uh, post about kind of doing away with these these boosts, these these pack of cracks for patrons. What we are going to do and replace, if you are at that tier where or eligible for this, there was a couple four dollar patrons that are man, they've been with us forever. I've uh, we took down the four dollar patron a long time ago. We even took down the five dollar patrons a long time ago. Uh, for those that are still with us. Uh, you're going to be grandfathered into the $10 patron tier, which means you can get up to two products a month at cost. If you want to stick around for that, be my guest. You're grandfathered into it. If not, I also understand. It's just become, like I said, too too much labor intensive to be doing this. Um, we are going to be in its replace too, going to be offer uh, some of the, I think people, I can't remember what Channel Fireball calls it or some of these other ones where you can, you can purchase a certain amount of like a pack per the box or basically for box opens. You want to do a box opening and people want to uh, put their, their hat in the ring for it. Then we will have that available for patrons to say, okay, we get 36 people. Everyone wants a pack or collector's booster box have 12 of them. Uh, we can do it that way. So breaks, that's what they're called. So if you want to do breaks, we are open to doing them. Uh, but basically that will be on the time that we have to do them. So, I mean, that's the good news of this operation is, you know, we've, we've grown so much and become so successful that we no longer have time to do the smaller things, but that's also kind of the, the sad part is we don't have the time that we used to have to really give the attention to these, these sorts of things like we used to. So it's gonna be our last Zach, the crack addict booster box opening, Kevin, the crack addict for, uh, patrons. So what I have here is all the names randomized in this box. Uh, we're going to take out the token and the eligible cards are going to be all the other cards are going to be eligible it's still better bang for your buck than going like i said the booster box route and i'm sure we're going to pull some really good stuff from these collectors boosters um and yeah i guess we'll just get to it so let's get the the first one open if i run out we'll go get another one of these modern horizons these are actually hard to come by at this point so how do i open this stupid thing from the bottom from the top from the top is better there we go Kevin is special. All right, first pack. So again, we'll get rid of the token. And again, they're randomized here. So it'll be commons first. So the first one up is going to be, we'll flip it over. So I guess we'll give it a nice little cut too. We'll give it a nice little kind of shuffle and cut through these, these boxes here. And here we go. So first patron is going to be Ryan Q with the foil mountain. Ryan Q gets a foil. Oh, that's an etched. This one is an etched card. An etched card it is for Ryan. And I didn't even come prepared here. I need to grab some team badge real quick and throw them in those. All right, I'm back. Here we go here. We are good now. We are back. All right, next up, we have Tofu Timmy. Tofu Timmy gets the Break the Ice. Breaking the Ice with my, my good buddy Tofu Timmy gets the Break the Ice. So I guess I'm just use penny sleeves for this. I think they'll fit nicely in this and we'll, we'll perfectly fit all the really expensive ones. There is Tofu Timmy's. Uh, next up we have, we have 
Sneaky Walrus. See if we can get you a sneaky pick, Mr. Walrus. Gets a Sea Drake. Beautiful foil Sea Drake for Sneaky Walrus. Next up, we have Darren with a Parcel Mirror. Parcel Mirror for Darren. So this set's pretty neat one with all the, the etch foils, with all the uh, the fetch lands. Fetch lands are still holding their value pretty good. In fact, it's funny how the ones that weren't contained in the set skyrocketed, which is crazy because they're still available through Zendikar. Zendikar still has a lot of supply, uh, Zendikar Rising, and you do get uh, the fetch lands in that one as well through collector's editions and through the box toppers. So don't underestimate the supply of fetch lands. So then we have Bradley next. Bradley gets a, a Gilt Blade Prowler. Let me actually speed this up and get these sleeves out of the pack so I'm not running around to get these. So there is Bradley's good old gilt blade prowler. And we'll try to send these off if you've ordered something. If not, we'll just, we'll just get these off on the... Um... Next up, we have Brenton. Brenton gets a Storm God's Oracle for Brenton. And then we have... Atomic Planet Comics with the Faithless Salvaging. Next up, we have Kurt. Kurt Gitz. Ooh, there we go. There's our first full art foil, which is Resurgent Belief. Return all enchantment cards from your graveyard to the battlefield with a suspend. That's a pretty insane card in the right deck. So we'll get that one perfect fitted here for you and thrown in a, another sleeve and get someone's... There we go with Kurt. Congratulations, Kurt. Next up we have Matthew. Matthew W. Gets. Ooh, Goblin Engineer. So here's the... the, uh, the uh, this is an etch foil retro is what this is. I think that's etch foiling on there. I can't, yeah, that's etch foiling, right? Some of these are so hard. Some of the etch foils are so grainy. Some aren't. I don't know. They're such a, I don't like them. I don't like them, but Goblin Engineer is a cool one. Definitely sees a lot of playing commander for the Goblin Engineer. What if I ever see modern play here now? It's legal and modern. Uh, Survival for library for an artifact card, put in your graveyard, then shuffle, and you can sacrifice an artifact to return target artifact with mana value three or less in your graveyard to the battlefield. So I could actually see this kind of being a Stoneforge esque like card of getting some equipments like swords into play like jit ever gets unbanned it might actually see playing in a a deck like that so there's a nice little card there lots of value in these suckers i think they're holding their values uh, pretty pretty well here because the the supply at least the collector boosters are pretty much dried up i'm sure amazon will get some more so next up we have chad chad gets the Kirin ranger etch foil it was an expensive common one of the most expensive car cards in popper for a while there for the Kirin ranger so it does get Modern Legal, which is actually a pretty powerful card, too. Thinks elves are using the Kyrian Ranger. I know Popper does like crazy. So I'm, I'm assuming the elves are running. Uh, if elf is even a thing in modern, I mean, the power level of modern is just insane. I'm pretty sure we could unban Birthing Pod, Jet, uh, Splinter Twin, no problem now. And it wouldn't even affect modern too much. Next up, we have Benjamin T. Benjamin T gets a... Ooh, a Tribute Mage. Wait, that's just a foil. That's Retro Foil Tribute, tribute Mage cool card there for the tribute mage for benjamin t next up if you don't see your name let me know um this is like i said with 180 patrons one can get missed we have austin gets Ooh, we have the goblin anarch anarchomancer in the retro foiling each spell you cast this red or green costs one less nice little commander card for that one for austin Next up, we have we have the next Benjamin gets a Vindicate, a full art Vindicate. That's a pretty card. That is a really cool card with Vindicate. Awesome, awesome. I am a, a fan of that. It's a sorcery speed destroy target permanent, but they can hit lands. Great commander card. It's basically a one size fits all solution for whatever is giving you issues. So kind of neat to see it in modern as well. Next up, we have get some other ones out here we have daniel daniel gets the lens flare of the concept art 
So I don't see the collector pieces. I thought I had a lot more of these concept arts in them. And then last but not least is the Rashad Dockhand. That's actually a good one here for, uh, I need to pull one out here. This one is for Adam. Adam gets a Rashadin Dockhand with the full art. Not a bad card. And that is the first pack. So we had some goodies in there with some etched foils. No fetches though. So zero fetches out of this box. Let's go on to the next, next pack. This one is going to be for Earl is the first one up. All right, so let's again give some shuffling to this so we don't know where the cards are for the expensive ones. And then Earl gets a counterspell, foil counterspell, beautiful card. Beautiful card for Earl for the counterspell. Next up we have Michael K gets the soul of migration. The evoke to get two one one white bird tokens. Then if you can reanimate, it's not bad. Kind of a limited card though. Next up we have Jeff. Jeff gets a abundant harvest. Actually does see play right now in Tron. So a foil abundant harvest. That's actually kind of pretty foil. That one is nice and shiny for Jeff. Next up we have, as I throw that one there, we have the Dre Keeper for, oh, we didn't even get a name here. We got the Squirrel King for Shakay. Shakay gets a Squirrel King. Boom. Next up we have uh, Nark. Nark gets a Silver Bluff Bridge. Pretty card. Pretty card. Does he play in Affinity decks? Uh, uh, Popper Affinity decks is, is really playing it. So this one should age well long term for the foil. Next up we have Pack Crack Fever. Gets. Oh, there we go. There we go. Congratulations on the first one. Retro Foil Marsh Flats. A retro foil marsh fast. That, that one goes in a perfect fit. That's going to be our, our first fetch land. And I believe retros are the most expensive, if I remember correctly. So that one's a beautiful pull for Packrack Fever. And that's pretty fitting. Uh, Packrack's been a patron of ours forever, since the very beginning. So it's good to go out on a, on a, a, a big hit there. Next up, we have Eric. Eric Gitz. The Plague Engineer. Nice retro of Plague Engineer. That's a good one, too. That's a super good one. She's a lot of sideboard plays in Modern. We'll go ahead and perfect fit that, that sucker up. And, yeah, that is a great card. That was a, This is a good box so far. Or a good pack for this one. Next up, we have... We have... A Will W. Gets the Gorilla Shaman. Awesome popper card with the Gorilla Shaman. So it looks like they printed a lot of low supply uh, popper cards into Modern Horizons <laughs> and made them legal as well in popper. I think they're they're trying to make sure that all the popper cards are also legal in Modern uh, rather than, I don't think there's any reserve. No, there wouldn't be any reserve list, I don't think, for popper. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. Actually, I think there might've been a couple that were downshifted at one point. Anyway, I'm not sure there. We have Shiro gets an Ornithopter of Paradise. Ornithopter of Paradise in the retro, the retrofit for Ornithopter of Paradise. Next one up, we have Russ with a blossoming calm with rebound. Hex, you gain hexproof and gain two life on the rebound. I wonder if that is playable in some sort of Spells Matters decks. I doubt it, though. I doubt it. Rebound's kind of good for one mana to get two triggers off of Prowess, but probably not good enough. All right, next up we have Michael L. With, oh, we have the uh, Gaia Drone with, isn't this the concept art? I think this is the concept art for this too. It has a little bit of coloring in it though, of it. So that one's a cool one. That one is definitely a cool card. All right, next up we have Casey. Casey with the Sudden Edict. Target player sack for a creature at split second. It's kind of got upgrade to the... Um, I'm trying to think of the, the card that 
not a Chainer's Edict. They had another one. Uh, kind of innocent blood at instant speed, split second. Oh, it's each player's in silver. There's a two mana one. Why can't Cruel Edict? Is it one of the edicts? I can't remember which one is just the two mana. Target player sacks a creature. All right, next up we have Mike N. With a, uh, ooh, a suspend. A full R suspend. Next, I'll target creature control and put two counters on it. It doesn't have suspend. It gains suspend. So, good way to get another ETB effect into something. So it can get recasted in a few turns. Guess there might be some some uh, things with that, like put it on a vote card for, for sure. That's kind of good. All right, next up we have... We have a sneeze from Kevin. We have a, we have Mythic. Gets the Foil Forest. Is that etched? It's etched. The etched Foil Forest. Which etched ones don't curl nearly as bad. And the last one in this pack is going to Scott. And Scott gets... A prophetic titan. Alrighty, here we go with the next pack. Let's get the token out of the way with the crab. The crab people. And give it a nice little kind of shuffle here. So it's a little bit randomized so we don't know what we're getting. And we have the next one up is going to be Sean with huh, the kitchen imp in the concept art. And then we have Jason with the Search the Premises in the concept art. Whenever creature control a creature attacks you or planeswalker you control, investigate. Kind of a cool card. Definitely commander playable. Next up we have One Wolf. Huh. Kitchen Imp. You get a kitchen. This one has a lot of that. It's a two kitchen imps. We have foil into a non-foil. So this one's having a lot of the, the concept arts in here. Next up we have Jonathan. <gasps> Ooh, with Gabba's the gla the the glimmer glimmer wasp. Cool little modular legendary creature. When the full art. You know that spiked up all the modular cards for commander players playing this guy. Next up we have Michael I with a mountain, an etched mountain. And then we followed up with Justin H. With a Mystic Redaction. Whenever you discard a card, you just put a Mills two cards. And you get a Scry every, every upkeep. Alright, next up, next up is... Kentucky Card Castle. With some Kentucky Card. Soul of Cleansing. Cleanse that with some Kentucky Fried Chicken. This video is brought to you by the Colonel. Next up we have Travis H. Quip. Gets a lens flare as I flare my lens here. Oh. My lens flare. Next up we have Josie. Gets Woo! the flourishing strike. So this box, this this pack was actually kind of meh. This one was the meh one. All right, we have, we have some goodies though still in here. We still have the full art one. We still have toast. Gets some peanut butter and jelly. Nope, gets a terminal agony. Terminal agony for not getting the PB and J to go with your toast. Or some butter and eggs. What do people like on their toast? Uh, next up we have Travis G. Travis G gets a banner hide Krushak. Krushak. The goat that could. Next up we have Unruly is being Unruly with Upside Down. Oh, there we go. That is a pull. That is a beautiful pull. The Yabmai Cradle of Growth in Full Art and Foil. That one deserves the perfect fit treatment. Get that sucker in the perfect fit. Oh, that's awesome. That is awesome, Unruly. You've been a patron forever as well. Long time patron. And you go out with a bang with the Yavimaya Cradle of Growth. Congratulations. Uh, next up we have Tanner. Tanner gets <gasps> the Teratil Kavu. That's a etched foil. Etched foiling process on this sucker with a rare. So we'll get that guy in a nice little perfect fit too. And 
throw it in a sleeve. Next up we have Animan 92 with the Nested Shambler. Good old nested shambler. And then, last but not maybe least in this one, who knows, the boot, the boot titan. The boot titan gets a, another nested shambler. Is that a foil too? What the? They're both foil. No, that's this one's etched. That one's etched. So we have an etched foil into a regular foil of the same stinking card. You can barely tell on this one, though. That's very tough between the etched foiling and the regular foiling for that. All right, next booster. Next booster, we have a Thopter token. That's a good sign, right? We like Thopter tokens. These, all these Thopter food, they are double-faced. Okay, here we go. Let's give it a good little shuffle again and see. Randomize here, randomize there. We have, coming up, we have uh, Archer. Archer gets the Unholy Heat. Sees a ton of modern play right now. Tons of modern play because Delirium is very easy to get in this to do six damage to something. So kills the Gurmog Anglers, kills anything. I don't think that's a card people are playing anymore. We have Chelsea H gets the, oh, we have the Asthma, I'm not even gonna try, but this is in the Retro Foil. That one's cool. Sees a ton of modern play as well. So throw that sucker in the perfect fit. Great card there. Beautiful card. Man, just how crazy these cards have just impacted modern. Like I said, you could unban everything at this point, point, and who knows what it'd do. Next up, we have Roker the Joker. Roker the Joker gets. Ooh, beautiful etch foil commandic guide. This is a great, great commander card. Goes in every commander deck because there's so many infinite combos with this sucker. So, this is something if you, you search out with Pattern of Rebirth and the Giant, the Moonweaver Giant, and what else do people run in that, that combo? So, actually, we should get that one in a perfect fit. We'll get that one in a perfect fit. That one's deserving of a perfect fit. So, again, a lot of these legacy... Uh, Commander staples, too, they, they really went hard on some of these cards that um, are being played relatively... Yeah, I would say this is one of the more classic Commander cards. So, bringing it to Modern to see what people can play around with it is what they're expected. So modern, they just kind of thrown out everything. Uh, you know, they didn't, who cares about being a turn four form anymore? And who cares about all the Womble combo nonsense? Let's just see what happens is where they're, they've gone with modern. I think the people have actually kind of liked that change. I don't, I'm not a big fan of modern, but whatever. Joshi gets the marble gar gargoyle in etched. A marble gargoyle in the etched. Is that retro etched? It is retro etched for that one. And then next up we have, this one's off to the side here. Let's give Ron one. Ron gets the world, world weary. Shazam. And then we have sloppy. Sloppy hammer gets a sloppy ornithopter of, is that etched? I think that's etched. That's etched. Etched foiling of the sloppy. I think that. I actually can't even tell on that one. No, that's not etched. That's just regular foiling. Next up, we have... Suleiman gets... Ooh, another full art. Full art, Dakin Shadow Slayers. This is not the uh, concept art. This is just a full art of it. That one's cool. Of alternate art, too? I can't remember. I don't remember. I don't know how many versions there are. One million versions of each card. All right, next up, we have... Will K with the phaseless salvaging art or concept art. And then it brings us to Tyson with, oh, another full art Yavimaya Cradle. This one is not foil, but this is two in the, was this in the same box with that? As my dog hits the camera. Nope, I think that maybe that was a previous one. Next up we have Stormy. Stormy gets a foil or etched foil forest. And then we have Trevor. Trevor gets the Arcbound Javel Javelinier. Arcbound Javelinier. Brings us to Alexander's with a brainstone. It does yeah, it does brain storm in Brain Stone. 
Next up, we have Michael B. Michael B. Gets the revolutionist. Next up, we have Justin A. Huh! Gets another parcel mirror. Which brings us to the last card going to Alex is... Aw, oh, that's another goat. You got the goat. All right, that, that one is pretty... We're, we're only at still one fetch land so far. That is... That's pretty... Pretty meh. We can do better with the zombie army. All right, give it a little shuffle, shuffle. Shuffle, shuffle here. And that's pretty good here. With Monty starting us off with a Sanctuary Raptor. Sanctuary Raptor for Monty. Next up we have Tad Tad. Huh! Gets the Deepwood Denizen for the Tad Tad. I'm going to go get some more perfect fits here, man. We have so many patrons. Dan gets a Drossboard Bridge. Very popper playable with the is that etched. Nope, just regular floating on the bridge. And we have Yuanji gets a gore a gouge zealot. It is gouged and it is zealoting. Next up we have Jomage gets a crack open. We haven't cracked open many fetch lands yet. Just the one. Just the one fetch land we can do better. We can do better. No. See if uh, if, if two Utes can crack a fetch land? No, but a full art foil Dothy Voidwalker. Can't complain about that card. That is a great pull on the Dothy Voidwalker. Brings us to Vito. Vito gets... Huh, there we go. <laughs> an etched... An, no, this is... Yeah, etched foiling. Yavimaya Cradle of Growth. I believe this is our fourth Yavimaya Cradle of Growth now. I think that's every version now that we've hit. Full Art, uh, Foil, uh, Full Art Foil, and now Edge Foiling of this this card. So, <laughs> it doesn't have the Herbor Tomb Yagwath combo uh, with the, the Cabal Coffers, though. I wonder if there's other ones that work with Forest, though. There's got to be a lot of things that do work with it, with turning other lands into Forest. All right, next up we have Justin. Justin gets the Changeling Outcast in... Etch foiling. Etch foil changing outcast. Not a bad card because of uh, the changeling ability going any tribal deck. Uh, next up we have the uh, Turtle Games. Turtle Games gets the Lazotep Chandler to go with the army token that was pulled with the concept art foil. Okay, and then we have Andrew S. with the Ephemerate. That is a good card. That is a really good card. Ephemerate. To blink all of the shenanigan the vote cards. Next we have Gregory F. Gregory F gets the Lone Scriptologist. That's a cool one. That's a really cool one for concept art here. Has the coloring in it though. And really, really popular commander. One of the most popular ones out of the set. Uh, then we have Steve L. Steve L gets a combine uh chrysalis which works really good with the last card that we just opened the cryptologist then we have zachary s zachary s gets oh a soul talisman full art soul talisman that's a pretty card suspend three and then you can have a soul ring eventually out there on the soul talisman all right, next up we have Ribrock with a etched foil swamp. And then we have JH with the last card out of this one with uh, Flay Essence. Flay Essence. I'm going to find some more sleeves here in a second. We're almost out of them. All righty, here we go with the next pack. The next pack has a bird. It's a bird, not a squirrel. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's Feshland, and the first card here for Brandon is going to pull a Feshland. Oh, not a Feshland, but it is a subtlety. 
we weren't very subtle about well i guess that doesn't make sense we'll just uh, let that go here with the subtlety for brandon All right, we have Wilder. See if we can get a wild fetch land. Huh. Nope, just a Jade Avenger. I guess that's pretty wild. A Frog Samurai. I can get behind that. That is a wild card. Very wild. And then we have Eric Die with you. We got the Chitter Splitter in full art with the Chitter Splitter. Throws out a lot of squirrels. Next up, we have Jordan with the etch foil island pretty hard on that guy though let's go ahead and grab some more sleeves guess we're going in black sleeves now as i'm pulling out sleeves galore Alrighty, next up we have Crispy. Crispy with the Angel Curator. Then we have Robert with the Glorious Enforcer. Afterwards, we have Saul with the Lightning Spear for Saul. I actually really liked that card in Draft and in Sealed. It was a pretty good powerhouse there with equipping stuff and then being able to do that last bit of damage with by sacrificing it for a Lightning Bolt. Really cool ability there. Kevin W. gets an Ethereum Spinner. Looks like we have a damage card out of the pack here in the next card. Not the next card coming up, but the next, next card coming up. Uh, here we go with the Joe W. Gets an Echoing Return. That's a cool card. Return to our creature card and all other cards with the same name as, as that card from your graveyard to your hand. So you play it in those decks, it can run any number of cards like your rats. And you get them all back. You get them all back. And this one, you can see here, there's a bend on the corner. So right out of the pack, pick it up, mister. I don't know if it's getting it there. There it is, you can kind of see there. Hopefully this isn't a fetch land because that's going to be very upsetting for Larry. Um, it's not. It's just an or Orchid, Orchid Strider. Orchid Strider. So still a like one fetch land from this box. Yeeks. Except we got a lot of Yavmaya Cradles. All right. Good luck, Joel, Joel. With. Oh, that one's beautiful. A Sword of Truth and Justice in the retro foiling. We'll take it. We will definitely take that. You'll take that card with the Sword of Truth and Justice. Good old proliferate protection from white and blue. When counters on stuff, pretty good. Next up, we have Richard. Richard gets a timeless dragon and etch foiling. It cycles for a plane, and then you can internalize it for a five-five. Or we certainly make a four-four. I don't even know anymore. I don't even know anymore. Do I even play Magic? All right, we have Jose. Jose has the Brainstone in an Etch Foiling Retro. Retro Etch. Etch Retro. Retch Retro. Retch Row. Next up, we have... Uh, we have Miratresh with... Huh, the Talisman of Hierarchy. These, uh, these will age well. They did from the... Or is this now just... This was from old Modern Horizons. They brought it in this one. That's how that one worked. Okay. Yep. So it should age really, a really wealthy uh, retro, retro fitting of the talisman. All right. So we have Donnie with it's a wary old world card. She's going to go get some more sleeves. Crazy. All right. Next pack. Zombie token. Get some nice little randomization here keep you on your toes we have dh with a chainer 
chainer that's etched yep an etched one a etched chainer adept that's a cool card really like the design of this card it's one of my favorite cards printed out of the set shazam next up we have sean p huh. oh guess the glimmer baron as an etched etched glimmer baron And then we brings us to Taylor B. Taylor B gets a blossoming column. Then we get to Chip with Universal Auto Automation. Universal Automation. It's changing 1 1 for 1. Very universal. Gabriel with. The uh, General Ferris Rockrick in the uh, concept art. Hexproof from Monocolored. It's a 3 1 for 3, and then, uh, man, you start creating uh, any sort of multicolor creature you, you, you spell, you, man, you start pumping out those 4-4s. Four of course, seems pretty good. Seems pretty good. All right, we have the Road to Ruin. This one is for Michael C. The Road to Ruin. Some of you are going to get a Chloe hair in your in your sleeves. All right, we have the... Oh, Arid Mesa for Angel. Look at that. There's our second one. We have Arid Mesa for Angel or Angel. Don't know how you say your name. Either way. Um, yeah, this one's a full art one. That is pretty. That is pretty. That's a good card. Go ahead and get that guy in a perfect fit. So it's our second fetch. So, so far, we have two per box. Two of them. So... Not bad, not bad. Whah. All right, let's go to Bot Dog in the next one. Come on, where's Bot? There it is. Bot Dog gets a etched island. Next, we have Blake with Captain Ripley Vance. I like this card too. It's some of my other favorite cards in the set. Yeah, it's kind of fun to get this guy pumped up. Kind of fun commander. Play a lot of free zero uh, spells every turn, and you want to get three three spells cast in a turn, and you can start dishing off some really good damage. All right, next up we have Blaze with... Oh, yeah, my Elder. Very playable commander card in foil. I'm going to go find some more sleeves. Jeez, run out all the sleeves here I had by, oh, by me. All righty, we are back. As I open up a pack of sleeves here. So I have more penny sleeves running around. So let's get the show back on the road. What are these sleeves? All right, so we have Bobby. Bobby with the Dark Moors Bridge. Ooh, these sleeves are kind of nice. What are these? What are these sleeves? Some Neomats? I think that the problem with these ones, they like start to get some stuff on them, if I remember. Maybe not. These aren't bad sleeves. Huh. If I reviewed them, I can't remember uh, reviewing these sleeves. Maybe I was supposed to at one point. Edgar gets whew, the Unholy Heat. Very playable in modern. Next up, we have <laughs> Kyle with no fetch. Not a fetch. Just another goat looking thing. Rhino looking thing, Krushok looking thing. Someone in the comments can yell at me and tell me if this is a real animal or not. Next up we have Greg gets the landscaper, another goat. It's been that Krushok and goat like right after each other in a couple packs, teasing us these, these farm animals. We are playing Farming the Gathering, the gathering of farms. All right, David gets the Sylvamanthum creatures get green creatures get plus one one whenever creature enters the battlefield you control you scry one for two mana it's a lord enchantment for two mana not bad not bad all righty here we have another pack it's gonna be a beast a beast in a thopter lots of thopters okay start things off with Slade Slade gets huh 
the blacksmith skill. Come on, you can get in there. Next up we have Garrick. Gets a Garuk. Nope, gets a gets a dress down. Dress down, end battle, draw a card, because you lose all abilities. Then you have to sacrifice the beginning of the end step. Okay, it's gotta be some sort of use for it. Oh, I guess you can flash. That's flash too. We didn't even read that part. Of course, Kevin not reading the cards. Aaron! Aaron gets a late to dinner. Late to pizza night. I need to cook some pizza. Been forever since I posted some pizza pics. All right, Cody gets the next one being a glimpse of tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow we'll get some pizza pics out there. So I try to make puns for this. Shazam. Next up we have Zach H. Zach H gets an etch foil planes. As the sleeve does not want to open. Next, next up we have Carlos. Carlos with a creeper. Quit creeping, Carlos. Quit being a glinting creeper, you creeper creep. Next up we have Adrian. With a Chancellor of the Lazotep variety. Chancelling those zombies. Lazo tapping those zombies. Uh, next up, we have Sarah with a charger. Tazaris charger. Shazam. Drew is up next. Whoa. The marble gargoyle. What if you guys can search your name by just using the when Google starts to uh, turn it into text? That if I don't put your name, Galen gets <gasps> a the hottest ploy. Come on, get in there. Next up, we have Lawrence with a foul watcher. This pack's been terrible so far. Let's hope for some goodies here. Let's see if Dave can actually get a good one here. Yep, there we go. Sanctifier and Vec. That was the wasn't the promo. That's a good card. Really good card. Good hate bears card. Next up we have James. James with a Ranger, Captain Vios. Nice. That's a good card. That's a good one in the uh, the etched retro. That one deserves a perfect fit, of course. We'll get that one protected. And thrown in this sleeve. How do perfect fits fit in these sleeves? Maybe I want to actually perfect these ones because they oh, they, float, they slide in good. I actually kind of like these sleeves. I wonder if it's the shuffle feel or something on these that were, were bad. Kind of nice. Alrighty, let's go with Nick D. Give Nick some D. Ah, oh, just some weather the storm. Some weather the storm. Good card though. And then we have Michael F. With a Gargadon. Shazam. Okay. Next pack. Getting down to three packs left in this box. We have a bird. Not a squirrel, it's a bird. And this is a bird squirrel? Not a bird squirrel, a bird treasure. All right, let's give some little shuffle here. And we have Kevin M. With the Vectus gloves. Oh, as I throw your card in disbelief, in disappointment. And we have Ryan S with a Arcbound Whelp. Then we have yeah. Nicholas with Hard Evidence, Nicholas. Hard Evidence that I, I uh, cheated on this pack opening and gave you a trash card. Hard Evidence. Uh, we have Michael R with Nested Shambler for the 15th one we've opened in this. <laughs> I think that's all the versions with possible of Nested Shambler too. We had the Edge, the Foil, the Regular, and the Concept. Yep, we've got them all. Gotta catch them all. Every version of Nested Shambler. Not a terrible card though. Blake Ott gets whew, 
break ties. I hope you don't break ties with me after I give you this terrible foil. I guess it's not terrible. It's a decent little sideboard card. I don't know why I made it three, though. Why not just two? So it's going to be strictly better in Disenchant, which is fine. Disenchant's not that great to begin with. Lejeune gets a Tangle Pool Bridge. Not bad in Affinity and Popper. Very playable. Leo the Lion. Leo the Lion. Lion. Leo the Lion. You guys like my singing? Gets the Karth. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, oh, oh. See, I told you you're going to get a Lion, Leo. Karth the Lion. Look at me. I, I'm just full of... Uh, premonition here look at me go so now do i need to say logan the fetch land logan the fetch land logan the scalding tarn logan the scalding tarn nope solitary confinement i tried my singing did not work did not work for that one i tried gave it my best As can't even get this into the sleeve. Alrighty. Next up, we have Frank the Tank. Frank the Tank with a tanky card. Nope, just a, a, a galvanic relay. Etched, etched foil galvanic relay. Matthew F. Gets a blacksmith skill. Black Skiss Mill with another one of these sleeves that does not want to open. There we go. Open says me. Now we have a Andrew C. Gets Talisman of Hierarchy. That's the second one of those we got. Just wants to find that talisman. And then we leads us to David. David gets the moderation. All things in moderation, David. Come on, get in there. Now we have June. Gets the Phantasmal Dreadmaw. They, had just, they couldn't help themselves. They had to put the Colossal Dreadmaw in the set and give it illusion. Garrett gets. Oh, Yuri Fortune's Flame. Isn't this the? Is this the promo that's in the uh, bundle? Can't remember if that's the one that comes in the bundle or not. We have Greg K. Greg K gets fetch. Ugh, the mountain. The mountain. Two fetches in this box, man. Kevin's so trash, man. I, I like. I made sure I had a bad box. Start the conspiracy theories. Crab people. There's our squirrel. We finally got a squirrel. Maybe we had some other squirrels and didn't even turn them over. So. There we go. Some of these have some little warping on the sides. I don't see if you see that. Yeah. Gotta love these packs. Let's start off here with Kenneth. Kenneth gets a Glimmer Baron. Or Glimmer Baron. Next up we have Christian with Grief. Full Art Grief. That's a good, good one. That is a good one. To go with the ephemerate that was opened earlier. We have Cybele. Huh. Floodhound. Good doggo. It's a good doggo. Where's my doggo at? I'm not even on my feet. I don't know where my doggo went. Doggo got sick of me opening packs and decided to go find a better adventure. Going through another pack of packs. Woo wee! Got a billion patrons. All right, we have Lucas. Gets. Ooh, a Sanctum Weaver. That's a pretty card. That's a pretty card. Very good commander card in the full art. In the flesh. Jacob. Gets. The Etch Foil Swamp. Anyone trying to Etch Foil out their decks yet with these cards? Are these even worth money? I don't even know anymore with magic. They make everything special, nothing is special. Wingate. Owner of the hotel chain. Uh, we have Prismatic Ending. Good card. Really good card. Didn't I turn these back upside down so I could get them on the... Ugh. We have... Next up we have Alex S. With 
the uh, strike it rich. Next out, we have Colin. Huh? With late to dinner, Colin. You're late to dinner. Next up, we have Gary with a Torax Canticle. And then we have Mike's MTG. Let's see what you get, Mike's MTG. I <sighs> need a better battle plan next time. Jake W. It's got to be a good one in this pack now, right? Uh, it's, it is so shiny. Card did not lie to us. Unfortunately, so shine does not lead to the big box. Next, we have Mark. Mark gets. Oh, there's a beautiful one with the ignoble hierarch. I think these are the cheapest versions, not the foil ones, but like concept art ones of these ones. Chris N. Gets. Ooh, a shard of this agent in the etch foiling of the shard of this agent. That's a pretty one. That's a pretty card. Does see lots of legacy play, lots of modern play. Can't go wrong with this card. Now we have, next up we have Machine. Such a machine. Let's see if we can get an arc bound card for Machine. Nope, but you have my Elder in etched. You did not get a Machine, unless this guy is a Machine. He doesn't look like much of a Machine, though. Gerald gets an Abundant Harvest foil concept. Ooh, we have this second to last pack. I think this is going to get us through with what we need to. Ooh, I didn't shuffle it all. Vermin Gorger. This looks like there's a little bend on there, too, for Christopher. Christopher gets the Gorger. Now we'll shuffle it up. There's a Thopter. Thopter clue. Get a clue, Kevin. Do this properly. There's a little bit of a, a shuffle going for it. Stuart gets a persist good card good card return to our non linear creature of card from your graveyard to the battlefield plus minus one of the counter with just two mana two mana reanimate a huge card and jake b gets blossoming calm we have greg r with Oh, an island. I'll have to see what the card... Another card flipped over there. I grabbed two cards. I was stuck to the other one. And we'll see what it is. Oh, let's see what Kevin gets here. With the Bloodbraid Marauder. Can't block in it. This spell's Cascade as long as I have four more cards. Cascade. and Can't block a 3-1. Not a bad card. I wonder if that'll ever see play in, in Modern. Maybe it does already. All right, we have Jesse up next with a Lucid Dreams. We'll be dreaming of that fetch land, I guess. Jeez, this box only two. Only the two fetch lands, a floor and an etched foil. Zero percent gets zero fetch lands. Oh, I cursed it for you. Just an edict, which is what you're going to give me a sun edict for that, that pun. Next up, we have Joseph H. Whew, is an agony over that card. And speaking of Josephs, we have a Joseph P. <gasps> it also gets a lens flare. All flared up from that one. Got a cool little raptor on there, though. Getting down to the wire. Joshua. What do you get, Joshua? Floodhound. Oh, the good dog who doesn't come through. Or does come through, but not what you're looking for. Next up, we have Seth. <gasps> oh, there we go, Seth. Oh, Seth, that is a pull. You got the monkey. You got the full art monkey. Card needs banned ASAP. Card is insane. It's doing really well in Commander as well. So, huge hit for Senior Monkey. That's a good one. We got the monkey. So, this box didn't end up being that bad as far as the non fetch pulls. But, we have. Oh! Oh! Nope, just a goblin bombardment. Goblin Bombardment in Etch Foil, though. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool, the Etch Foiling with the Goblin Bombardment. 
Sack a, sack a creature, it deals more damage to any target with no uh, activated ability or activation cost besides sacrificing a card. Kind of cool. And then we have RD <gasps> with the Seal of Cleansing. Great commander card. That's, that is an etched foil. And then the last card for Ross is, oh, can't go wrong with there with the foil ephemerate. Another amazing card. And there was one pack and one card left over from all the shenanigans. Again, I guess this one will just be, if you didn't see your name, message me. It's a Gargadon. Since we have one pack left over, let's just go ahead and crack this sucker and see what was missed in the box. An insect token with a squirrel. That's a good sign here. And the other one had a Territorial Kavu, a Gargadon, a Concept Art Daken, which would have been the second one, a Lava Bella Sliver, a Gargoyle, Bone Shards, Sanctifier Invec, which is the exact same. This is exactly how the promo is, I believe. And a Necro Goyf. So, man, this box was kind of weak as far as Fetchlands were concerned, but there was that Ragavan came through, the Alvamai Cradle. There's some good hits in here for sure. Uh, but, yeah. So you can see why we're not doing this. It took me an hour to go through them all. Um, I, I felt like I went at a reasonable pace as well, but we will be doing breaks. I think breaks we can schedule for when people actually pitch in uh, for the cost of the box, then we can do a break and then either live stream it or, or send it that way. So be looking for that. That's still eligible to patrons. If you are a patron too with that, even any tier you're eligible, eligible for Buggo's House of Booty, which is a great perk. Uh, typically a lot of good stuff goes on the Buggo's House of Booty that you can bid on. It's gonna be cheaper, always cheaper than eBay or Amazon at that point. And then again, we might revive this in the future. We'll have to look at things again and see how, how we're doing as far as time is concerned and whatnot. It's just an hour to do this and it's gonna take hours to ship this out. So it's just really, really rough. Uh, to keep up with this hope you enjoyed this video though um if you really really do want it back let me know in the the comments or, or message to me if you have any concerns and maybe we can figure something out uh, but you are grandfathered into the higher tiers so you can message me about those as well i highly encourage you to join the discord we still have a lively discord that's a lot of people say it's worth the the patronage alone just to have access to the discord but there you have it this has been kevin with conroe games thanks for watching